I'm going to cut right to the chase and make this video as small as possible. Um, if you watched my previous video, which I've made like four hours ago, I discussed the top five best FNAF games. Now I'll be discussing the top five most scary FNAF animatronics. We have some honorable mentions. All right, let's go. Scrap Baby has always been a scary character for me. It wasn't about her appearance or anything like that. It was always about her eyes. Something about her eyes sent a cold chill down my spine. Imagine looking right into her eyes, right before you die. Also, sorry that my voice is low. Uh, I have a... My throat kind of hurts. I'm sorry if it's too low. I don't... I have no idea what it could be. But I'm trying to make this video small, so let's go on with the last two honorable mentions. This honorable mention's actually not an animatronic, but rather another FNAF character with a dark backstory. None other than William Afton, also known as the Purple Guy. He killed children. He killed like 12-something, I think? 12 children? Enough said. Last honorable mention goes to the mini Renas for their frightening appearance. Though I hate Night 4 and Sister Location, and really when it comes to best FNAF games, Night 4 just drags it down below. Um, they're still scary and I like their mechanic in Custom Night and Ultimate Custom Night. Now, time for the list. Let's begin, usually, with number 5. That being... Springtrap. William Afton was recently mentioned, but this is him as a decaying corpse instead of a frightening greenish bunny suit, which is even more scary, William Afton. Time for number four. Yes, Nightmare Mangle is very scary. Her appearance in both FNAF 4 Halloween Edition, as well as Ultimate Custom Night, can bring chills to even the most fearless of spines. However, there really is something far more scarier about the original Mangle from FNAF 2. While Nightmare Mangle is sort of a Nightmare Foxy recolor, this Mangle is more demonic looking, more twisted, more childlike, and perhaps it's that very reason that makes her scarier than her FNAF 4 version. So be sure to sleep with one eye open. While we discuss FNAF 2 characters, let's discuss one of the scariest characters ever, Bonnie. Withered Bonnie, to be precise. What happened to Withered Bonnie's face? I don't know. Out of all the animatronics, I would say Withered Bonnie is just the most aggressive as well as the most fearless. This goes for Bonnie as well. However, he looks more cute in the first game. Well, he's not cute because it's FNAF. But compared to Withered Bonnie, yeah. Withered Bonnie just seems more violent. And even in his, his FNAF 2 jump scare, you can see him using his hand to grab you. Or like, the, his hand moves towards you. Withered Bonnie is aggressive, violent, as well as dangerous. And scary. He is the third scariest, which is why he's number three. Bonnie... FNAF 1 Bonnie gave Scott nightmares, so you can imagine how Withered Bonnie is scarier. It is mentioned that the only FNAF fan game characters that have ever scared me is the rat from Five Nights at Candies and Ignited Bonnie from The Joy of Creation, who is based off Withered Bonnie, hitting us in his jump scare as well as his pure aggressive nature, being scarier than the others and naturally creepy. <sighs> yeah. You know the rest. I got distracted. Overall, Withered Bonnie is just a monster and a natural, aggressive creature. Number two is tied between two people, that being Nightmare and Nightmare Yon. The reason I'm not putting Fredbear with them, or Nightmare Fredbear, is simply because he's on the more forgiving side and is Michael's friend. Let's start with Nightmare. Nightmare is scary because 
he's kind of like Nightmare Fredbear, only more aggressive. He's able to get even closer to you with even a shorter amount of time. And he's a black bear, meaning that you can only see him when he gets really close to you, which means that danger is lurking and breathing down your neck. As for Nightmare Yon's case, he's pretty much a puppet, but meant to torment. He's demonic, and even his kill screen is nothing like his appearance. His teeth are missing, and his eyes are even glowing up higher. Along with the fact that he has long tentacles, and when you hear a music box start to play, you know he's close, which makes your heart race faster. But even all that is nothing compared to the scariest FNAF character. The one that everyone recognizes at first glance. The one that you shouldn't mess around with. The one you never expected. The one you shouldn't have killed. As we come to the scariest animatronic, we also come to the most powerful animatronic as well, Golden Freddy. When I saw him in the FNAF 1 office, unexpectedly, I was almost put off the franchise for good due to just how horrifying his appearance was and unexpected. That's what Golden Freddy is, unexpected. Though he became a real character and not just an Easter egg in the second game, not to mention being so powerful that he outranks every FNAF character if they were all working together to defeat him, as well as creating Ultimate Custom Night, which I am very grateful for. It's my favorite game. Thank you, Goldie. Wow, I killed the scary vibe. Golden Freddy is just an overall beast. He's the scariest character in the game, the most powerful character in the game, and my personal favorite character in the game. He's everything. Not to mention... Golden, literally, part of his name represents rich stuff, and stuff that, uh, screw it, I'm ending it here. Thanks for watching, see you later.